Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Here's a little piece of history for you, okay? A couple of days ago, um, a couple of days ago being the 19th of November, 2024, Oliver McCall, aged 59, became the oldest ex-heavyweight champion or heavyweight champion in history, in boxing history, to win a professional fight. You think Mike Tyson's old. This guy's even older, 59 years old. He knocked out um, a mere 54-year-old, so you know, virtually a fetus, Stacey Frazier. He knocked him out in two rounds. And this was, uh, this was in Nashville. Um, and it's pretty astonishing, really. I mean, Frazier... Frazier came in. I don't think he'd had a fight for five years. Stacey Frazier, losing record. Um, like I say, 54. So it's not like Oliver has beaten a killer. Um, but to fight at 59 and win a professional contest, it's pretty amazing. Now, McCall hadn't fought since 2019 either. Uh, so this was a comeback for him. I wonder if he's going to continue... Uh, he improved to 60 wins with 39 KOs, 14 defeats. He'd only ever been stopped once, but that was there's a little asterisk by that because that was the Lennox Lewis rematch where he seemed to have a sort of nervous breakdown or a mental breakdown in the ring and just allowed Lewis to hit him. Um, he was never off his feet. Prior to that, he'd knocked out Lewis to win the WBC heavyweight title in 1994. He turned pro in 1985, Oliver McCall. Um, but that was the only stoppage, you know, you could almost call it a retirement um, rather than, it wasn't really, I think it's classed as a TKO, but it wasn't really. And Lewis could pop. He couldn't get McCall off his feet. I don't, I think McCall might have been floored once in his career. I, I might be wrong about that. I don't know. I did read somewhere that he'd gone on the floor, but maybe it was a slip. But this guy's got one of the greatest chins I've ever seen of any weight, any weight whatsoever. Um, and like I say, he turned pro in, in 85. Um, so, fuck, can you believe it? 1985. It's unbelievable, isn't it? That's nearly 40 years ago. Um, and he won the title, like I say, against Lewis in 94, knocked him out in two rounds. That was in London. Um, he then made a successful defence of the title against the old Larry Holmes, although the old Larry Holmes is young compared to the modern day Oliver McCall. And then uh, he went back to London and lost um, to Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno won the title, although McCall uh, was very, very close to stopping Bruno in the final round. Bruno was absolutely exhausted and just sort of hung on and, you know, managed to get over the finishing line for his one and only world title victory. That was at Wembley Stadium. I remember watching that fight live. Uh, and I think the... Was the Lewis the Lewis victory was was it at Wembley Arena? I think that was at Wembley as well. Anyway, so he had that brief little sojourn into world world championship uh, victory stroke defeat. Um, he didn't get a bite of the cherry again. Don't think he fought did he fight for a title? I don't think he did. But he still he still had enough to you know like in two thousand and one he knocked out Henry Akin one day. who was a former WBO champ. Stopped him in the tenth and final round. Um, and he'd, he'd fight. He'd fight anyone. I mean, he beat. Um, hmm. Or he was fighting people like what's the guy's name? Samuel Sand, a Turkish fella. I remember him fighting him. Um, Devaro Williamson. I think he beat. Did he beat him? I think he might have done. Lance Whitaker, Goofy. Do you remember him? You would if you're my age, back in the nineties. He won a 10-round decision over him. He'd, he fought Fraser Kendo. I think he beat him. He fought Ibragimov, Timur Ibragimov. Was that a winner or a loss? I think that might have been a loss. Um, yeah, anyway, my mind sort of went to my own little world there, but he's fought everyone. This guy's fought everyone. Jesus Christ. Um, and, I mean, Tony Tucker, he fought. I remember fighting him. I think that was a loss. Uh, all his losses, apart from that Lewis thing, are, are on points. Um, I know he beat Jesse Ferguson. Oh, Buster Douglas. He fought Buster Douglas as well. Lost a 10-round to him. 
Yeah. I mean, he's a pretty amazing fighter. But 59 years of age winning a fight, can you believe it? Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you in case you hadn't heard it, because I think it is a little piece of history. The oldest heavyweight champion to win a professional fight. And, um, yeah, pretty amazing, really. So we think Mike Tyson's old at 58. But then I suppose, I mean, the funny thing is, Oliver McCall, he, 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 there were very strong rumours, to put it mildly, that he liked a bit of the old, you know, uh, and um, maybe a little, maybe liked a little bit of pipe, pipe work. Uh, so when you consider that he's led, he hasn't led the cleanest of lives, perhaps, he's still going at 59. I haven't seen any footage of this fight with Fraser, Stacey Fraser, but I'd like to. I wonder if it's on YouTube. I might go and have a look. Anyway, if you've got any comments, leave them below. You know the drill. Uh, thanks for your time. Please like the video if you liked it. Hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye for now.